Hello, and welcome to this jazz guitar lesson. I'm Chris Whiteman, and thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to look at um, building lines um, out of chord voicings. So, um, we're going to look at a 2 5 1 in the key of E flat major. So, um, we're going to have F minor 7 is our 2, B flat 7 is our 5, E flat major 7. Uh, is our one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to map out um, an area on the neck with shell voicings. Um, so I'm going to use F minor 7, B flat 7, and E flat major 7. So that establishes um, the area of the guitar neck that I'm going to be working with. So now I'm going to build out each voicing um, by adding an extension. So on the F minor, I'm going to add a 9. G on top of that chord. That's probably the most common extension on a minor seven chord. And then when I go to the B flat seven, um, I'm seeing an opportunity to move uh, the G, that was the nine on the F minor, I'm gonna move it down a half step and I get a sharp five on the B flat seven. Um, and and what, what, I'm, what I'm recognizing is I have an opportunity to, to continue to move that top voice down chromatically and on the E flat I'm gonna the F is a 9 so I have a 9 on the F minor I have a sharp 5 on the B flat 7 and I have a 9 on the E, e flat major 7 um, but this really becomes um, the important part because this is going to become the basis for my for my melody um, if we, if we if we're building our melody out of um, chords that have good voice leading, you know our melody our melody line should have a nice um, shape to it. So as an exercise to start to think about um, uh, the extensions as a melody, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the voicing uh, with the extension. I'm gonna play the extension twice. So now I'm going to start to build out that melody a little bit. Um, I'll play the nine, and I'll, maybe I'll pivot up a fourth. I go to the to the uh, C, which is the fifth of F minor. So I went nine to the five of F minor, and then sharp five on the B flat seven. If I pivot up a fourth from here, I get the flat nine. So that's a nice altered color as well. And then I'll resolve uh, to the nine on the E flat major seven. I can. I can pivot up there if I want, or I could resolve. So that sounds like this. Alright, All right, so we have a pretty simple but uh, effective melody um, over this 251. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build this melody out. I'm going to add sophistication um, by uh, adding some enclosures and uh, some rhythmic syncopation. So um, instead of starting right on the nine, I'm gonna enclose it. I'm gonna go a half step above, a half step below, and then right into my target. So, and I have to uh, start the enclosure before the downbeat um, of the measure, because I wanna land on the nine on the downbeat of the measure. So one, two, three, four, and one. One, two, three, four, and one. And then we had pivoted up to the C, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pivot, um, but I'm gonna add syncopation. So I'm gonna pivot on the end of two. So it's gonna be um, from the beginning. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three. Right. And then I'm gonna enclose the sharp five of the B flat seven, and so. F sharp is my target. I'm going to go a half step above, a half step below, and then right into the target. And that's going to start on, on beat four. One, two, three, four, and one. And then I'm going to pivot up a fourth to the B, which is the flat nine. And, um, and that's going to happen on the end of two. So that phrase over the B flat seven, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three. And then I'm going to enclose the nine of the E flat major. So I go out. So that's 
the note is F. I'm gonna go a half step above, F sharp, a half step below to E, and resolve right into the F. So we put it all together, and that line sounds like this. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, and one. All right, so we've added some sophistication. We're gonna add a little bit more. We're gonna um, bring in some chromaticism in combination with, with some enclosures. Um, so uh, maybe the first chord I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a minor third above and just chromatically uh, descend into it. Um, so the longer um, the approach into into a target, the further back in, uh, rhythmically I have to go, right? So if I want to get on the nine on, on on beat one, I have to start this on the end of three, the preceding measure, right? So one, two, three, and four, and one. So again, one, two, three, and four, and one. So there's my syncopation. I'm pivoting up to the fifth. Um, and then uh, here, instead of just a simple enclosure, I'm going to move still an enclosure, but I'm going to move down a minor third and then chromatically ascend into the sharp five. So that's going to sound like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two. And then I'm going to use the same approach uh, into the resolution of the E flat major. So I'm targeting the nine. I'm going to go a half step above, then down a minor third, and chromatically ascend into the into the ninth there. So that whole phrase sounds like this: one, two, three, and four, and one. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you find this concept useful and you explore it and come up with your own melodies. Uh, it doesn't have to be a two, five, one situation. It can be any chord progression. Um, it's really helped me and my own uh, development as a player um, to kind of find uh, new ways to navigate uh, changes and maybe not so dependent on licks and scales and modes and so forth. So I'll see you next time.